Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? Another Prelici Friday. How is everybody doing? What is it the, no, it's not the first Friday in June, but it is a beautiful Friday in June. Second Friday, I guess it is. So yes, I'm so excited to be here with you guys. We have some awesome projects that I'm gonna share with you today featuring, okay, we are gonna play with the Charming Sentiment stamp set. Hello, Philomena. So this is a great stamp set full of sentiments. That's why it's called the Charming Sentiment stamp set. I'm gonna read them to you because I don't know if you've seen like all the great sentiments in here. And then they actually have dies that cut around each of these. Um, so I don't even know. So 17 stamps, so there must be 17 dies. Hey, Jamie, yes, is school out so you can watch? Watch now that would be awesome and happy belated birthday hope you had a good birthday this week um so yeah so these um like i said stamp set and dies coordinating and then we're gonna play with some paper too but let me tell you about the stamp sets first so or the sentiments we've got i have to look at these i can't even like flip them around for you but there's a thank you everything will be okay that's kind of a not fun, but it's a good one, right? Every once in a while we need that. Beyond grateful. I love that sentiment. Woohoo! Out with an exclamation point. Um, oh, it says hey there, but it almost looks like hug there. I think it says hey there. Yeah, it says hey there. <laughs> Super fantastic mega news. That's a fun one, right? Wishing you the happiest of birthdays. So tiny, so precious. Congratulations. Wishing you everything wonderful because you totally deserve it. So some of these have to kind of build with each other, right? Because I'm sure that goes with something else I just said that I can't even see <laughs> right now. There's a just for you. Um, let's see. So what is, oh, everything. Well, let's see. There's one that says not that you will. Oh, I don't know. I can't even sure. I can't even like put these together. But there's one that says not that you need it. Maybe there's, oh, there's a good luck. <laughs> Hadn't read that one yet. Babies are a blessing. What's new in faith over fear? So let me show you. I'll flip those around. They're, of course, backwards, but this is an awesome sentiment set. We're using two of these sentiments, I think, today on the cards because we're making two different cards. So there are lots of other sentiments that you can use from this stamp set. And then we are going to play with the absolutely gorgeous, this is called the Awash in Beauty Designer Series Paper. I'm gonna see if I can't just pull out each of these. <clears throat> Oops, I got an extra one. Uh, so the Awash in Beauty Designer Series Paper. So I'm gonna show you these. We'll go, um, we'll just go front side first and then I'll flip them over and we'll do back side. But isn't that beautiful? Oops, we got two, two sheets of that, right? Okay, this one, love this one. It's beautiful, isn't it? I think there's only one, nope, two sheets of that one also. I am trying to think if there, there are dies and stamp set that go with this that I don't actually have yet. That's why I use the other stamp set, but that's the fun thing, right? Is sentiment stamp sets and beautiful paper, they can like, you can use those any way that you want. So those are kind of fun little mini flowers. And then that one is beautiful too, right? But what I was starting to say is I bet um, the dies that coordinate with the stamp set probably also cut out some of this paper too. Here's the back side. So these are a little bit more muted tones. A lot of times they'll do that, right? Where was that two sheets? Yep, we've got two of that one, right? And then it's kind of like a wash, like a watercolor wash, a wash in beauty, a wash in color. And then there's one more. That's a pretty one too, isn't it? So beautiful package of paper also. So we're gonna have lots of fun playing with that in just a little while. In the meantime, I have been like busily working on getting ready for my new catalog kickoff and buy one, get one free event. I have a ton of catalogs. If you guys need one, hey Deb, please let me know. I'm happy to mail one out to you. Um, or if you're local, I've got some out on the porch right now. Stop and grab one. I would love to get these catalogs out to you. Um, I just, yeah, like I said, I have so many that I'm like, what am I doing with all these catalogs? I need to get these out to people. So come see me also at the new catalog kickoff and buy one, get one free event. I'm doing that here locally this Wednesday, June 15th at the Peace Lutheran Church, which is here in Alma, right on Warwick Drive. It's 325 East Warwick Drive. So if you haven't been out to see me for a class or an event, stop by, say hello, grab a catalog. You don't even have to stay for too long. If you want to just run in, grab a catalog and see what's new and you got to be on your way, that's totally fine. Or if you want to come and shop, hello Beth, how are you guys? 
Um, you're welcome for the birthday wishes, Deb. I hope you had a good birthday as well. Lots of June birthdays. So very, very fun. It would, it would be fun to have a birthday in June too, I think. Um, yeah, like fun, summer, beautiful weather, right, for your birthday. Um, <clears throat> Okay, so back to the new catalog kickoff and buy one, get one free event. We, I have cleared out my craft room. I love to do that. Get rid of my retired product because I can't show you guys any longer because um, you can't buy it any longer. So why would I show you and tease you with that, right? But I love to give you guys an awesome deal. Thanks for sharing the video too, uh, Miss Deb. So this is how it works. If you don't know how to buy one, get one free um, sale works, you buy retired products. So I have it all laid out on the tables. You shop, pick up whatever you want. Say you find $50 in retired product. You can get $50 for free out of our brand new annual catalog. So it's an awesome deal. You still pay the shipping and the sales tax on the new catalog stuff, but basically um, it's, like I said, it's an awesome, awesome deal, a great way for you to get maybe something that retired that you miss out on. Um, I have lots and lots and lots of stuff. So I, I always like jokingly say, Lily would really appreciate if you guys would just buy everything from the retired product table so she doesn't have to box it up and put it away again. That never really works. I'm like, why don't people listen, right? <laughs> okay, teasing, but anyway, it's just like a little joke that we have. Lily is always like, yeah, I wish they would just like buy it all and then she wouldn't have anything to do at the end of the event, right? <laughs> yeah, that'll probably, that'll never happen, right? Uh, but anyway, yeah, there's lots and lots of stuff. So love for you to come shop from that. I'm also going to have a couple of make and takes. It's $5 to complete the make and takes. We're going to be playing with some awesome some new product. Um, I have a drawing that I do. If you bring a new friend to the buy one get one free event, if you shop at the buy one get one free event, if you sign up for a class or an event at the buy one get one free event, your name goes in the drawing and I'm giving away um, an awesome little package of brand new annual catalog goodies. Um, what else? I feel like there's more, but that's the basic idea. Anyway, so uh, when is it? Oh, I guess I should say that. Let me make sure I have it right. Wednesday, June 15 from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So I'm going to be there all day long. Hopefully that gives you some time. Come in the morning, come at lunchtime, come after work, whatever is convenient for you. Again, Wednesday, June 15 from 10 a.m. to 6 15 at the Peace Lutheran Church here in Alma. Love to have as many of you come as possible. Oh, I'm making cute treats for everybody too. That's what I forgot to mention. I always love to do that. I'm featuring, of course, new catalog product. Um, okay, let's see what else is going on. Oh, I think I mentioned this last time, but it's definitely like in motion and happening now. So my super summer giveaway, this is a drawing that I've done for the past couple of summers and I love to do this. It's a great way for me to kind of incent you to come to classes, to shop, um, to become a club member, to do a party, to buy the starter kit. This is how it works, okay? So you get entries into the drawing all summer long, right? Oh, actually another one posting to our Facebook group. Love that, that's a super easy one. You can do that anytime, anywhere. Um, from the comfort of your own home, right? So I will be buying fun new goodies from our next mini, the July to December. I don't know why I always like fumble over that. Our July to December, like the holiday mini catalog, I'll get some fun new product that I'll be able to give away to you in September. So at the end of summer, which we're not wishing summer away, this is what I want to put the brakes on and like make summer go really, really, really slow. <laughs> yes, Jamie, school is out. Awesome. I know, uh, well, Lily was out a few weeks ago, but then everybody else, if you weren't a senior, they just um, finished last Friday, it was almost last day of school. So awesome that you're out too. Um, that probably made the birthday even more special to not be working on your birthday, right? Okay, so super summer giveaway. This is how you earn entries into the drawing all summer long. So June, July, and August, you earn one entry for every event that you attend. That includes the class to go kits too. That's considered an event that you can attend. You earned two entries into the drawing for every $50 that you spend. That's also at each like local event and online as well. Two entries if you post a project right here to our Facebook group. Hello, Miss Debbie. Using the hashtag Super Summer Giveaway, post your project. What I'll do is at the end of September, I can do a search for anyone who posted using that hashtag, and every single 
project that you post on here right here on our gathering inspiration stamp studio facebook group your name goes into this super summer giveaway drawing so anytime you make a project snap a quick picture upload it right here use the hashtag super summer giveaway and you'll get you an entry into this super summer giveaway drawing um, let's see if you bring a new guest to any event you get two um, tickets into the drawing if you buy the starter kit um, you get five entries into the drawing if you join a club class to go club is included uh, simple beautiful card club the scrapbook club paper pumpkin and in color club hello Lori out in uh, Utah it's so funny Lori just texted me a picture last night um, so she's out visiting an aunt and uncle who are like 90 and 93 years old they're having birthdays um, and she stopped in Riverton Utah at um, the Stampin' Up! headquarters. So she got a picture next to the big like Stampin' Up! Um, sign outside of the headquarters. So she had to text me that. So that was awesome, Lori. Of course, I asked her, did you get in? Could you go see? But I think they were there after hours, so they couldn't go see the um, headquarters. But it's beautiful. It's a beautiful building. Um, just, of course, it's it looks like um, out of a magazine spread, really. So it would be an amazing place to work also if you ever wanted to move out to Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, okay, so back to Super Summer Giveaway Drawing, did I say? So five entries for purchasing the starter kit and five entries if you want to do a private party or class. We can do it online. We can do it at the um, church, whatever you'd like to do. Just get friends, family, whoever together, and we can make cute projects, and you get five entries into the drawing. Again, that drawing will be held at the beginning of September, and we'll do that drawing right here on Facebook Live, okay? Um, what else do I want to tell you guys about? Oh, I do. <clears throat> so I'm still taking entries into the um, In Color Club. Hello, Carolyn. Hello, hello. Thanks for joining us. So if you're interested in joining the In Color Club, I'm trying to see if I have anything. Well, you guys know all of the In Colors, right? Um, I know I have a catalog. So if you haven't gotten all of the in color products yet and you're thinking oh i really want to do that which you probably haven't had a chance to get them all just yet but here this is a cute picture of all of our in colors so sweet sorbet starry sky tahitian hide um, this one there's orchid oasis and parakeet party so beautiful set of in colors you get one of each of those colors every month for five months you get everything in those colors so you get cardstock ink pad refill blends marker ribbon twine one month you are the host oh designer series paper i think that's it one month you are the host and you get the in color matte decorative dots and twenty dollars in free product so i'm still taking entries like i said into the in color club you get three entries into the super summer giveaway drawing also if you decide you want to join the in color club let me know i will include links um, to sign up um, above this facebook live video once i get it uploaded this afternoon then also I have two more designer series paper shares left. Um, these are the shares from our new annual catalog, right? Like look at all of that paper, $44 for all of this paper. Crazy how much paper that we have. So I have two of these left. If you're interested, let me know. Again, I will include the link to um, buy the Designer Series Paper Share. It's $44, did I say that already? Um, and you can have one of these packages. If I need to mail it to you, it is an additional $10 um, for the priority mail shipping too. But if you're local, just put it out on the porch and we waive that um, shipping fee, okay? So I would love to get you one of those last two designer series paper shares sent out to you. Okay, I have class this afternoon. So this is always the like, okay, make sure I tell you guys everything and then also not be late for class too. So, you know, and I just always seem to have a lot of energy. Oh, the other thing. Well, I'm just so excited to be here with you guys. I think that's it. Um, <clears throat> last chance list. I've got things like spread out on my um, table here. This is it's a teeny tiny little print. You can barely read it. I did. So I highlighted, highlighted one catalog and Lily actually came and highlighted um, a couple of other um, um, additional catalogs. So I have those. Um, I'm going to have them at class this afternoon. So if you want to... Um, this is the mini catalog. Let me, I've got to like reach right here, but yeah, I'm like jumping around the mini catalog. So things, lots of things are retiring from here, right? That's what everything is on these two full pages of the last chance list. There's a bunch of stuff on sale. 
I'm sure some things have already sold out. I haven't even looked at that yet, to be honest. Um, but anyway, I have catalogs. They are highlighted with all the items that are retiring. I can put them out on the porch if anyone is interested. I'll have them at class today, and I will definitely have them next um, this Wednesday at the new catalog kickoff and buy one, get one free event. So just in case there's something, you can shop from the BOGO sale and still order retiring product out of here also because we have until the end of the month to order if it's still available okay so make sure and you can hop online too if you go to stampinup.com there's literally a button that you click on that says um, retiring or last chance products click on that and it has pictures of everything that is still available that you can get um, that is retiring yeah so there's lots lots of stuff retiring okay I think let's do let me find my drawing here, right? We're going to do our drawing for the fun flowers resin shapes. And we're actually going to use these. Did I use them? Or no, maybe I think I used them in class. I was trying to remember. We, we are not using these today. I was thinking on Facebook Live, but we're actually using these in class today. Um, so one lucky person will win these fun flower resin shapes. If you shared the last Facebook Live video, if you signed up for my email list, or don't forget if you sign up for the, um, or sorry, if you share the class to go kit posts, those are always right here on our Facebook group also. I have a brand new kit I'm gonna share with you guys in just a couple minutes um, called the Lovely in Linen class to go. So if you share that post, um, anytime between now and our next Facebook Live, your name goes in the drawing here as well. So, okay, and these little fun flower resin shapes are super duper cute. Um, just finally got to play with them, like I said, when I was um, putting cards together for our simple, beautiful card class this afternoon. Okay, all right, so one lucky winner of the fun flower resin shapes, and they go to Miss Linda Danis. All right, congratulations, Linda. You are the proud new owner of the Fun Flower Resin Shapes. So I will get those mailed out to you. All right, I'm gonna dump those out. Where are the names for the, oh, there they are. I'm like, oh, I'm in a panic. Where did I put those? I'm trying to make sure for the next drawing that we will do in a few moments. Okay, so on our next Facebook Live, we will give away, these are the polished dots, and I'm like, I'm sad-faced because they're retiring. I thought that they were gonna carry over. I like literally thought they were carrying over, and then I just looked again on my last chance list. I'm like, oh no, that they are gonna go away. So they're kind of like opal rounds because they've got, um, that clear pearlescent and then the really pretty like petal pink pale pink color um so i'm just sad because i really love oh i don't know i love all blank but these are super duper pretty and i'm just bummed that we couldn't carry them over but in the meantime you can still order them they are still available and one lucky person will win these if you share this video share the class to go kit post or sign up for my email list we'll do that drawing on our next facebook live for those polished dots Okay, mm, what do I wanna show you guys now? Oh, cute little club member treats that I made for everybody last month. So I think everybody's gotten these. I always like to share them after the fact because I don't wanna spoil the surprise for anybody, but these are super cute little treat boxes. I've made these over the years. I love, it's like kind of a gable fold box. I will be posting, I have um, kind of gotten bogged down and haven't been able to post um, like blog post to my blog, thegatheringinspiration.com quite as often as I would like, but this is definitely in my plan, so watch for that. I will be doing that very shortly, um, getting a blog post put up so you guys can see, but this uses, um, what is that designer series paper? It's from my last class to go. The Hues of Happiness designer series paper with the fun little heart and then the little just for you, which is that from? maybe it was from this sentiment stamp set but it's not anyway it's from some sentiment stamp set that i will post on there as well um and then with the cute little um, pool party ribbon I, i'm so glad this ribbon keeps carrying over and it's perfect for these little boxes too and there's a little bit of the parakeet party baker's twine there also so like i said i will um, have a post on my blog so you guys can learn they're really they look way more complicated than they are they're actually super simple and really fun to make so yeah oh deb are you are you um let's see she's saying she's missed class due to maybe last month yeah you missed class are you able to come today hopefully you are able to come and i'll see you this afternoon at card class miss deb that would be great okay um let's see 
I'm gonna put that over there. I'm trying to stay organized, which is <laughs> always a feat, right? Um, so I also want to recognize we have, hey, Miss Pam, one new Inkspired Stamper that took advantage of the starter kit deal recently. Thank you for sharing the video too, Miss Pam. So I wanna give a warm welcome to Sheila Oster. Like I said, she took advantage of the awesome starter kit deal. She is now part of our team, our Inkspired Stampers group. So welcome, Miss Sheila, to our team and our group. And we look forward to having you be a part of all of the fun that our team um, shares together. So congratulations on getting that awesome deal. And she now also gets 20% off of all of her orders that she puts in through Stampin' Up. So basically she gets that awesome discount anytime she wants to order anything. If you're ever interested in learning more about the starter kit or have any questions or wonder what it means to be an Inkspired Stamper, please let me know. Ask me any questions that you have. I would love to give you um, any details that I have. Hello, Miss Bonnie. Welcome. Good morning. And um, thank you for joining us. Yeah. So like I said, if you have any questions on Starter Kit, I'd love to um, help you out, get your questions answered. Love to have you become a part of our group anytime that you would like to do that and get that awesome 20% discount off of all of your orders after that. Who doesn't love a deal, right? Um, it's like um, somebody said one time, it's like going to Target and walking in and them handing you like a 20% coupon off of anything you want in the store. That's basically what the starter kit is. Is like here from Stampin' Up, here's your 20% coupon. You can use it on anything, anytime, anywhere, any place, forever. And you can actually get even more of a coupon or discount if you sell or order more. You can get what they call volume rebate. So additional commission or discount off your orders. So 20% is the minimum discount that you can get. You can actually get up to 40% off if you sell a lot each month. <laughs> so, um, okay, let's see. I think we are ready. We're gonna do our next drawing, right? Uh, for the home and garden stamp set. So if you're new to Facebook Live, if you're not sure how it works, this is what we do every single week um, that I'm on Facebook Live, which has kind of become about every other Friday, to be honest. I don't wanna literally say every other Friday because there are some times when I can do one Friday and then the next one back to back. Um, but I think I've mentioned this too, and I wanna make sure you guys all know this. I always post like on Thursday night, I'll post whether I'm gonna be live today on Friday at 11.30 or if we're skipping that week and I'll be live the next week. I try not to ever go two weeks in a row with being off. Um, so it's generally every other week, but it just kind of depends on my other work schedule and trying to make sure that I can have a good um, Facebook Live ready for you guys too. So, I, but I always post on Thursday nights. So you guys always know uh, what's going on on Friday. So just keep that in mind, okay? If you're ever wondering, is she doing a Facebook Live or not? Look right here at our Facebook group on Thursday night and you'll see a post that'll tell you whether yes I'm gonna be here or no we're not and it'll be the next week so in the meantime this is how Facebook live works right so if you order online through me you automatically always get two cards that I demonstrated so these were the cards that I did on our last Facebook live so you automatically get these two cards as a thank you for me if you order at least $30 and use the host code that I will give you in just a few moments we have a new host code now I'm saying that I'm like oh my gosh do I have those I don't even know I think I I think I printed them <laughs> we'll see we'll see in a moment whether I scramble it around or not anyway so yes okay so those two cards you get your name in the drawing to win this time it is the home and garden stamp set if you bump your order up to over $50, now this month in June, you get to pick from the June free embellishment, which are these awesome solid faceted gems or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial for June, which is full color. Can we do this? Kind of show you guys step by step. Look at all the details, right? I haven't even looked at this very well now that I'm thinking about it. I'm like, ooh, there's some cute projects in there. So you can get the PDF tutorial or the embellishments for free with a $50 order. You pick every single month. If you order more than once in a month, you could get the PDF tutorial uh, earlier in the month and then the embellishments later in the month, whatever you want to do. Or you can get two packs of embellishments, however you would like to do that. Okay, so in the meantime, I've got names in the drawing for our the fun home and garden stamp set okay so here we go i toss these names around i have just a few names in here you guys know i always say this i really do not get too many online orders so your chances are always really good of winning okay so one lucky winner 
And, okay, do I have one in my hand? And it goes to, ha, ah, Miss Linda Danis. All right, Linda, I don't think she's watching right now, but this is her lucky day. So she shared the Facebook Live video earlier and won those fun flower resin shapes. And then she also put an online order in. So she is also going to be receiving the Home and Garden stamp set along with the cards that I demonstrated on last Facebook Live. Hello, Cheryl, how are you? So glad you can hang out with us today. Hope you're doing well and having a great start to summer. Um, okay, now let me show you guys what we're going to give away on our next Facebook Live. Oops, I have lip gloss on. You know how that, like when the wind blows and you have lip gloss on and your hair is like all stuck on your lips. So great, right? <laughs> okay, so on our next Facebook Live, we are going to give away, these are the, this is a pack of the Butterfly Kisses Designer Series paper. And I'm actually going to show you one more time because I just absolutely love this paper. So I'm going to pull out of our paper share. I should have had this ready and I wasn't thinking... I kind of thought of it, but I didn't actually get ready, right? Okay, so this is the Butterfly Kisses Designer Series paper. My nose is itchy. Okay, so beautiful butterflies on one side, right? Huh? Okay, we're just going to flip. So there's one, and there's the back. There's another one, and there's the back of that one. And then we've got this one, and then some pretty flowers on that one. We've got fun prints too, right? I love the colors in here too. So this is a great like color combo idea um, for you too. If you're ever like, oh, I want to use, um, say, Starry Sky. What other colors go well with Starry Sky, right? Like, look, we've got a whole list of colors right here. Um, so I would say Starry Sky, Fresh Freesia, Calypso Coral, uh, crushed curry and parakeet party are a great color combo so whatever if you love these colors pick a couple of them and use them on a card so designer series paper is always great for that for giving you color combination ideas if you love the paper check out the color names that are in there and like look at those are those so cute love those butterflies and then another fun print and then a couple more butterfly and then some more basic patterns on the back, right? So beautiful. We're gonna give a full pack of that paper away on our next Facebook Live when you order online through me using the host code. Okay, all right. I think we have done everything here. I'm just trying to make sure that I've talked about everything on my table. I think we have. We are going to flip the camera down now. Oops, I better like clean things up a little bit before I do that, right? And then I'm gonna show you a couple more things um, and then we're gonna do our stamping. Okay, so turn your heads away for a moment. We are flying through the air. I'm going to get this. Oh, cancel, cancel. Okay, okay. Ooh. All right. Somehow I hit end the live video, but it then I canceled. So I think we're good. So I think you guys are still like looking at the ceiling. We're gonna flip that down. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Shoo. Little panic moment there that I think we avoided. Okay. Um, I think that's the new host code. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the new one that we have on my blog too. So the Z-D-K-K-Y-S-C-Y, -Z -Y, that's our host code for June. Yes, it is. Because now I remember, I gave this to you guys at the end of May with our last Facebook Live. I started this one early because that's why I was like, wait a minute. I haven't even thought about um, printing that for a while. Oops, let's get that out of there too. Okay, so I want to show you guys some swap cards that I received. So... If you are not familiar with swapping, let me tell you, this is like an awesome thing to do, right? So the idea is you make one card. So this is an example of the card that I made, also featuring the Lovely and Linen Designer Series paper and Lovely and Lasting stamp set. This is my, not one of the cards in our class to go, but definitely one that you could recreate with all the products that you get in the class to go. But again, the idea is with swapping, I made this card and then I made 16 of them. I sent them off to the swap coordinator and then she sent me back 16 more cards. So I'm going to show you guys these cards right now. Now I will tell you, I don't know the names of a lot of this stuff just yet. Um, I'm going to put my glasses on too, I think. Um, yes, the colors are beautiful. The DSP is gorgeous. 
I think we're still probably, I'm seeing your comments. I bet you're talking about the Butterfly Kisses Designer Series paper. But isn't, like, look at that. That paper is beautiful, too. And then look at that ribbon. Um, I don't even have that ribbon yet. I think I just ordered it, but it looks absolutely gorgeous. This, I can't remember the name of it, but we'll tell you. That one is by Kim Vogel. Made that card. I'm just going to kind of flip through these. If they catch your attention, come back, stop this Facebook Live video. <laughs> <laughs> and look in your Anna catalog and figure out, or or ask me a question, we can figure it out. Someone else may know. This one is by Ruth Bingle. Sometimes people will put the details, but isn't that cute? That's one of our new um, dies there also. We're actually making, I loved this card and I had everything to make it. So we're actually making this card today at our Simple Beautiful card class. So I'm basically casing this from Deb Snyder. The Sweet Cherries card there, right? How about this is a fun one, right? With our um, some of our new in-color um, card stock. Wishing you a speedy recovery. That's cute too, huh? From Karen Braxton made that one. How about this one? Isn't this so cute? This would be a fun um, uh, graduation card, right? You did it. So cute. That sweet little girl there too, huh? This one is from Karen Titus. Um, how about this fun one, like, hello, sunshine, with the cute, like, kind of retro bathing suits. Aren't those so fun? This one is from Sandy Reese. Um, This is another great, I love this um, stamp set with the sentiments. It's one I've been meaning to get. I haven't gotten it yet, but I'm sure we will be seeing it shortly. And actually, these are the deckled rectangle dies. Can you guys see? So it, it cuts a rectangle, but then it kind of makes it um, almost like you kind of uh, ripped the edges. So I think that's super cool, right? Sending sunshine and good feelings your way. That's a fun sentiment too, right? From Darla Watson. Uh, then this one right here, a happy birthday, kind of a, maybe a masculine um, look to it from Marsha Gay. We've got this other beautiful one too, this best wishes. Um, oh, so that one must be on the inside. Sometimes people do that, put them on the inside. Our friendship is a whole vibe. That's a cool sentiment, huh? Right? And then I'm not sure if that's stamping or if she, I don't know how she did that, to be honest. Maybe that's stamps, right? I was going to say she colored, but that almost looks like she stamped that in there, right? This one is from Jessica Bridgeton. And then how about this beautiful one, right? The little just to know with all of this beautiful detail, right? Uh, Mary Ann Grimmer made this one. And how about this one? Feel better real soon. Isn't that so pretty, right? And this one is from Angie Leach. So can you guys see swapping is an amazing thing to do. This is a cute one too, right? Sending good vibes with the little butterfly. And there's some butterfly designer series paper. And then those fun flower resin shapes that we just gave away. These are dies right here that she cut out of the designer series paper. I do not have this um, stamp and die set yet. I only have the paper, but it's definitely one on my wish list. Uh, this one is from Kay Cogbill. Super cute, right? And the last one, here's another fun with the Butterfly Wishes designer series paper and the dies, right? With one of our, oh, you know, Jessica. That's awesome, Philomena. Very cool. That's so fun. Um, this one, I think, is one of those new gems that I'm giving away, right? I think, yeah, it's the solid faceted gems. You can just see the bigger ones eh, right underneath there. Very pretty. Yes, the swaps are gorgeous, aren't they? So many good ideas. So I'm sure, oh, and this one was from Lynn Feldkamp. Yes, so love swapping. You can search on Facebook. I'm sure there are lots of Facebook groups um, that hold swaps. Um, so you would be able to find lots of great ideas through your swapping. I love to use those swaps too. Like I said, I went through those and decided I'm, I think I used maybe just the one. I thought there might've been another one. Um, anyway, use them for card class ideas too. So, and a lot of times even like card layouts, they're great for, if you don't have everything, you can use it as a kind of a jumping off point for a card layout idea too. So the other thing to think about is becoming an inspired stamper because we do swapping in our group as well too. So that would be a built-in every single month. We swap um, projects that we have made in our group also. So if you're ever interested, like I said, in learning more about that, let me know. Okay. I want to show you guys. Okay. So I have my lovely in linen class to go that I want to share with you guys. I've just kind of got everything done this week for my latest class to go. So I have the video uploaded to YouTube 
You can watch it anytime, but I thought I would make sure to kind of go over details and tell you guys what we have going on for this month for our class to go. So we make four cards in our class to go each month. I'm going to show you the cards first. So this first one says cheers, and then you flip it open, and then we've got best of luck. And then there's that fold right there. Then we've got a beautiful thinking of you card, a happy birthday card. This one opens like that, right? And then a thank you card. So those are the four cards that we're going to make in the lovely in linen class to go. Um, I'm going to just tell you about the options. Um, so option number one includes the lovely and lasting stamp set. Great sentiment stamp set with a thinking of you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Oh, hello. Best of luck and cheers. And then lots of beautiful imagery. My favorite part is the fact that this punch, well, this punch coordinates with this die as evidenced on the cheers, right? You got that whole little outline fits perfectly right inside your punch. It's perfect. It's perfect. Okay. So option number one includes the stamp set and the punch. You get a full bolt of the Pale Papaya Open Weave Ribbon. You get a full package of the beautiful 2021-23 In Color Opal Rounds, and you get a quarter of a package. So you're gonna get a six by 12. I would cut each of these pieces in half, right? So you guys can see all of the gorgeous designer series paper. I'm like caught underneath the punch, right? So there's that one and that one, and then there's one more. Okay, so there's one side. You're gonna get, again, a six by 12 piece. And then here, these are all beautiful, like blues and greens. And I think these are great, like kind of masculine colors is what I kind of feel with these. Or maybe like Christmas too. You could even use them for Christmas time. So beautiful set of paper, a quarter of a pack. You actually, in option number one, get the designer series paper for free. So all of that, plus the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step step how to put each of the four cards together all of the product, item codes, everything that you need to um, create these, right? Option number one is $72. Then option number two is if you already have the stamp set and the punch, make sure you have both of these things because you need to do your own stamping and punching. I send you a quarter of a pack of the paper, the um, in-color opal rounds, a full bolt of the ribbon, and all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards, plus the PDF tutorial, right? Option number two is $33. Thanks, Jamie. I'm glad you guys, oh, I'm Philomena too. I'm glad you guys are enjoying. I think these cards are beautiful too. And it's, I think, because I was really drawn to this designer series paper. If you need option number one or two shipped to you, it's an additional $10 for priority mail shipping. Option number three is the PDF tutorial. Just tells you how to put everything together. You're going to do it all on your own. Gives you everything that you need. Colors, item codes, dimensions, product numbers, um, everything, right? $15 or free. PDF tutorials are free to anyone in my downline, my Inkspired Stampers. And then option number four is also for my downline. Any of my Inkspired Stampers can get all of the parts and pieces to do these make and takes. They still need to get the stamp set and punch through their own demo ID, use their discount, right, when ordering. I send them the opal rounds, the designer series paper, the ribbon, everything else that they need. Just can't do the stamping for them. So option number four for my downline is $12. Um, a couple other things to think about. If you are a demonstrator watching this, I would love for you to order one of these class to go kits. Hello, Miss Brenda. Use it for yourself and then you can use it in, say, a class that you want to offer as well. I'd love to do that for you. The other thing to keep in mind is the class to go club. If you think, ooh, I love these projects, I love Amy's class to go kits each month, join the class to go club. You get three entries into the super summer giveaway drawing. You get $30 in free host benefits the month that you are the host of the In Color Club, and you also um, get cute little treats from me every single time I send out one of these class to go kits to you. So uh, let's see, RSVPs are due in a couple weeks on Friday, June 24, and the kits will ship no later than July 6. Okay, so we're gonna scoot this stuff out of the way, and we are gonna get to our stamping, okay? Here we go. So excited to show you guys these projects. Let's see, let me grab, oh boy, definitely crafter map. Oh, here was another, I don't think I showed you guys this swap either. And this one actually um, uses the lovely in linen um, designer series paper and the lovely and lasting stamp set and punch. But this was another swap that I received. <laughs> Thank you, Philomena, you're always so sweet. Um, do, 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 do. okay, trying to get myself a little bit organized here. 
I think we're good. I didn't do that. I'm not going to worry about that. Okay. Quick sip of water and mm. okay. Let's see. Too much organizing. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. First card that we are going to make today, again, featuring the Charming Sentiment stamp set, that super fantastic mega news. And then on the inside, we just stamped a couple of those little teeny tiny baby flowers there. Okay, so let me show you again. Here is the Charming Sentiment stamp set with those 17 awesome sentiments in there, right? I actually used these little flowers from the Garden Greenhouse set that is actually retiring. So if you don't have this stamp set and dies yet, make sure you get those ordered ASAP because they will not be available after the end of June. Okay, got my little white cheat sheet with all my notes <laughs> as far as sizes of things. Okay, let's see. So let me give you dimensions here. I'll do that first. Okay. So this one is a, oops, a little bit different. Did I just bonk that? I did, didn't I, right? Okay. I cut this one off a little bit. So we started with a full sheet of, this is polished pink cardstock. I cut it down to seven and three quarters. Okay. Then along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. So I've got a five and a half by seven and three quarter card base. And then I scored it at one and three quarters and six inches, or basically one and three quarters on each end, okay? Um, again, I will have everything uploaded to my blog, gatheringinspiration.com. It's either gonna be later today, or if it doesn't happen today because I've got class, it'll be tomorrow morning. I'll have all of the details for these two cards if you wanna recreate them. Item codes of everything to order as well will all be there um, on my blog. Okay, so that's the card base, right? Then we have two pieces of designer series paper and two pieces of mossy meadow cardstock. So the mossy meadow cardstock measures five and a half, I'm sorry, <laughs> one and a half by five and one quarter, two pieces of that, right? And then the designer series paper, the awash in beauty, one and one quarter by five inches, two pieces of that. And then on the inside, we have our basic white piece, the standard four by five and a quarter inches, okay? And then I just have a couple pieces of polished pink and basic white cardstock for our stamping and die cutting. Okay, so let's do that first, and then we will kind of put things together. I'm just gonna scoop those babies right over here. Okay, so the stamping on this one right here, we have our super fantastic mega news stamp. So you could use this for lots of different things, right? So nice, easy, tap, 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 press straight down, lift straight up, good to go there. And then I have my Calypso Coral ink, and I'm just going to use, again, that little baby flower right there. Let's see, they're very similar, this one. Looks like a one I want. And put that one right there. Hello, Miss Susie. How are you? And then on the inside bottom corner of the basic white piece, right? We're going to just stamp these two. Oops, you guys didn't even see that. There we go. Just put those two little flowers there. I always just have to have a little something on the inside too, right? Okay, so we're going to scoot those out of the way. Now, let's actually clean these because I think I'm all done. We're actually making this card at class today also. So I need to, ah, last crossing today at school. Yay! So you're retired for the summer now, right? Congratulations, Miss Susie. That's awesome. Okay, so now we have, this is, what is this one called? The Decorative Circle Punch, okay? We're gonna flip that over. I love, isn't that, don't you love that shape? <laughs> so fun. Okay, so we got that. And then I am going to use one of our layering circle dies. We're gonna die cut that piece right there. And then we can put our card together. So very simple card packs a big wow though, I think, with um, kind of the fun fold on it too. 
And the paper is beautiful. And the sentiment is fun, right? Like I said, I think you could use this for lots of different congratulations that could be um, even used like for a graduation card, right? Okay, so there, we've got our circle. All good to go there. I'll scoop this, oops. There must be some adhesive. I try so hard not to get adhesive on these, but yep, I can feel it right there somehow. There, okay, I think I got it off. All right, let's put our card together here. So let's see, I got, I do have my adhesive. So we're gonna scoop these up here. Okay, so we're just gonna add a little bit of adhesive. Let's get that rolling. Okay, try her again. I think it was a new, there we go. And then this one, do it right here. Okay. So again, and always, the beauty of Stampin' Up! is all of our color coordination. So I basically looked at the colors that were listed on this designer series paper and found Mossy Meadow, and there's Polished Pink, and then there is Calypso Coral. So those are the cardstock and ink pad colors that I used for this project also. I think I need to, need to flip my wrist a little bit more tipping it back, right? Run it and tip it back. Wasn't that like my mantra a while ago? I must have gotten away from that. Okay, we're gonna add these. We'll put this one right on there. And this one, actually we'll put right there, right? We're gonna add some dimensionals behind our sentiment, okay? So super simple stamping, super simple card, but super duper cute too, right? Okay, let's see, we're gonna add, I feel like that's not really in view very well, is it? I'm too like intent on <laughs> what I'm doing to pay attention to whether you guys can see what I'm doing or not, which is kind of not so good for Facebook Lives, right? Okay, so now we're gonna add a little bit of adhesive just on that one side because we want to be able to open the card, right? So don't put adhesive on this side because then it's like all stuck together, right? And hopefully I estimated that well. Let's see. Okay, I think I did a pretty good job. So if you get extra adhesive, you can just kind of rub gently and just pull that off. Okay, there we go. And then you got to find somewhere to put it. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to put it on the back of my dimensionals just to like get it out of the way, but I don't know if I'm doing a very good job or not. Okay, there we go. All right, so we have, you know, this is good, right? But we always, I always have to add a little bit of um, texture and dimension to my project. So I had to pull out, I thought there were probably gonna be lots of butterflies flying around this garden of flowers, right? So have to grab some of these brushed brass butterflies and add them to our card, right? So we've got a couple, we're just gonna kinda add around. That guy's right on there, right? It's like they're they're flying. They're kind of sitting on the flowers and the leaves, right? Okay, and then one last little bit. So I, I did that and I was like, oh, I feel like it still needs a little something else. So then I pulled out my polished pink open weave ribbon that of course coordinates perfectly with the designer series paper and the cardstock, and it ties beautifully. This is still one of my, this, um, I don't know if it's kind of, um, what is this ribbon? <laughs> I'm trying to think of like the, the name or texture of it and I'm totally drawing a blank, but it's very easy to work with, very easy to tie and I like it a lot. There we go. Super fantastic mega news, isn't that cute? Hello, Debbie, how are you? Happy Friday to you. Hopefully you're having a great summer so far.
Okay, so again, card number one with our fun little super fantastic mega news sentiment, right? From the Charming Sentiment stamp set. So you can see how if you use the dies, it would cut that out and you could have popped it right up in there. I liked it just, I thought there was enough going on that I didn't need to do that with this, but certainly you could, right? You could add a little bit more fun with the die that cuts that out perfectly as well. Let me see if I can find that for you guys too, because I didn't bring them over because I'm not using them today, but now I'm feeling like I should probably show you guys. So let's see, Charming Sentiments are on page 38. Yeah, so you can kind of, you kind of get the idea here too. So the dyes all, you see how they're all kind of colored or I don't know, whited out almost, right? They cut around every single one of those. So there is the set of dies, right? But I think it's almost easier to see how they fit right around all of those sentiments. Isn't that so cool? The Charming Sentiments Bundle. These are the Sentiment Silhouette dies. So very, very cool, right? Okay, so there's card number one, like I said. Now, oh, let's see, what do we need? I think I used some of the same things on this one too, so I'm trying to make sure I have what I need. Okay, so another beautiful simple card right here again featuring the awash and beauty designer series paper we actually used our punch the decorative circle punch i punched that right out of designer series paper and then added some more and then just a little i mean it's barely a fun fold right but it kind of is right wishing you everything wonderful super duper cute right okay so let's see let's get what we need for this one Get that out of the way. Okay. And these beautiful, these are the iridescent pearl basic jewels. You can just kind of see them on the card right here. Hello, Kate. How are you? Hey, I'm <laughs> he, going to dance. Okay, bye, bud. He forgot I was doing Facebook Live. <laughs> he's coming home for lunch. He doesn't want to say hi to you guys, apparently. So he's all icky because he does lawn care. Um, so he's out in the out working outside, working on his tan too. Um, but anyway, okay, so these are the beautiful pearls right here. The iridescent pearl basic jewels, which you can just see I don't know if you really you can't even see the iridescent ness of them on here I don't think but they're beautiful just a little bit different pearl I don't know maybe you, can you kind of as I'm looking at them on the table can you kind of get a little I don't know you can't it's so funny they're they're iridescent I promise they're a little bit like um opaly I guess is what I think of like you know with the different pretty pastel colors that come through with opals right okay so here we go. We have our bashful blue card stock. This was a full sheet of card stock. Another, oops, I got a little bit of adhesive on that too. Cut this one down to seven inches. So it was an eight and a half by 11 piece, right? And then I cut it down right there at seven inches. Again, along the 11 inch side, I cut it at five and a half inches. And then we did our same score at four and a quarter inches like we normally would do. We just don't have that little bit on the end there, okay? Then we have that little, <laughs> that little bit of adhesive keeps bugging me. Four by five and a quarters, same, like I do that all the time on the inside of our card, right? And then we have a piece of this designer series paper right here that measures two and a half by five and a quarter inches. That's gonna go right there. And then this is for our other circle right here. Same exact size. I love that layering though with this layering circle die. And then we're actually, let's just do that right now. I'm gonna grab my designer series paper and we're just gonna punch it right out of the designer series paper. So we're gonna do this one. Oops, again, I'm so intent on what I'm doing. You guys can see that, right? We're gonna just punch that right out of there. So that's super simple, right? Okay, we are also, we might as well, um, let's cut our other circle here. Okay, just do this. Okay, oh, this is, um, is it Mary Merlot? I believe it's Mary Merlot cardstock yes because there's my ink pad 
Mary Merlot cardstock and ink. So again, just checking out the colors um, in the designer series paper helped me figure out what colors to use on this card as well. It's like my secret trick in life, right? So bashful, no, balmy blue. Bashful blue is the old one, right? Balmy blue right there. And then um, Mary Merlot right there. And then old olive is what we used on that ribbon. I have to show you guys that right now because I am loving this ribbon. This is the old olive and Sahara sand twill ribbon combo pack. So I haven't even opened the Sahara sand, but you can kind of... Can you see the little bit of texture in that old olive ribbon? And then same idea in the Sahara Sand ribbon also. So that's one of our new ribbon combo packs. Okay, so we have to carefully, let's fold this. So I actually did kind of, when I was doing this, cause I need to make sure that you can see the sentiment. So let's see, what do I have that I can, I'm trying to put something on there to hold it. <laughs> I know, actually my ink pad will help too, won't it? Okay, so. There we go, wishing you everything wonderful. Boop, there we go, okay, shoo, I did it. <laughs> okay, all right, we are gonna add some adhesive behind this guy right here. Okay, we're gonna add Oh, I love, isn't that beautiful, the patterns? That paper's just so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna add some adhesive on this little piece right here. Okay, next, same idea. I want to just put adhesive on, oops, like the top half of this circle. Did I get it going? Okay, yep, trying to make sure there isn't a bunch of adhesive where I don't want it, right? We're gonna put a couple more. Ooh, isn't that, so this, I love that pattern too. That's a very pretty, I can see. Um, sometimes I wish they would not put two super pretty patterns together front and back. I wish they would put like a really pretty one on one side and then maybe eh one on the other side. <laughs> But I guess most of them are usually super pretty. There's, there's usually like one that I'm like, oh, it's okay. Um, but it's hard when they're all, both pretty on both sides. Like, which side? Then you got to buy two packs. <laughs> That's how that works. <laughs> okay, so then our old olive twill ribbon from the combo pack with the Sahara sand ribbon. And I, I wanted it to be a kind of a teeny tiny little bow so it didn't take away from the designer series paper. So we're going to trim that down a bit. I'm gonna grab a glue dot, pop that right on the back there. That is gonna go down there. And then, let's see, move these things over here. We have our iridescent pearl basic jewels. And I just had to add a couple of them to our project. Okay, so I used a big one kind of down. Every once in a while I can see um, kind of how pearly they are. I'm gonna add that one. They're just like a little bit more shimmery. Multifaceted color, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it's really hard to describe them. Um, there's just a little something extra about them. Then the other regular pearls are beautiful too, for sure, but these are just a little bit different. So there is our second project, wishing you everything wonderful. And again, I think this could be a wedding card. It could be a birthday card, just like a congratulations card, maybe a graduation even. So lots of different ideas using that stamp set and then obviously a ton of different ideas in this stamp set, the Charming Sentiment stamp set with all of those wonderful sentiments in there. Right? Okay, so ladies, thank you so much for joining me today. Make sure if you are interested in getting each of these cards as a thank you from me, 
for your order. Order at least $30 online using our host code right here. You're going to get both of these cards as a thank you from me. Bump your order up to $50 and you get to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the Solid Faceted Gems. And you also get your name in the drawing to win the Butterfly Kisses Designer Series paper. So Thank you guys so much for watching. I've seen lots of comments scroll by and I've missed most of them. So thank you guys so much. I'm so glad you could join me today. If you have any questions at all on these cards, please let me know. Again, I'll get everything uploaded to my blog. It's probably at this point, it's gonna be tomorrow morning. You'll see that. But in the meantime, um, you can rewatch the video on Facebook too. I'll get that. Um, well, that's always uploaded, right? And I'll get it uploaded to YouTube too. So thank you guys so much for watching, hanging out with me today. I hope you have a great weekend. Hello, Lisa. Uh, thanks for joining us. We're just signing off. We'll see you guys on our next Facebook Live. Have a good weekend, everybody. Bye.